Okay, so <clears throat> moving on with the login in script. On the uh, login button, I've added an on click event with a function of log me in. Now, this function takes three parameters. The first one is the email address, and we get that through targeting the uh, class of the input box for the email address. The second one is the verification PIN number. Now this will often uh, return as nothing because unless the account requires verification there will not be any um, PIN number input box appear and then the third one is the password so we'll go and have a look at that function so currently all we've got is an AJAX function which posts the information to the register.php script with a mode of log me in sends over the, ver the email which is the x variable the verification which is the y variable and a password which is the z variable on the success we return uh, a message variable and for now we're only putting it into uh, open notify which is our little pop-up box we what we can do um, Uh, in the next few videos when we start developing the actual game itself we can force the user over into the game if we return um, that the user is successfully been logged in okay so now we'll go over to the register.php page and we'll have a look at the log me in case of the switch statement so first we take the email and we run the MySQLI real escape string of the email, the posted email variable. We do the same thing to the verification number. Uh, we then run a query, selecting all from uh, the user account, where the account email equals the email var variable and limit, limiting that to one and then we action the, uh, the query and put the results into the SQL variable we return the uh, objects of those results into the row variable following on from that we then run this pass, uh, pass hash function again and we put in there the, the um, posted password along with the row the returned row um, salt field which will give us our um, password hash after that we then run an if statement to check to see if the verify field is greater than zero which means that obviously the account needs the verification if it does then we run another if statement inside of that so check comparing the verification that we entered against the returned field of the returned row of um, the verify field if the they do not equal then we echo out saying the ver the verification pin is incorrect and to stop anything else being echoed out we um, we kill off the script with the die function <coughs> if the verification pin number is required then we um, move on and we check to see if the, the account password equals the hashed password we produced with the posted 
um, password that we send through from the registration form, uh, from the login form. If that if that's correct, we um, run the if row verify is greater than zero again, and if it is, then we just update the user account and we set the verify to zero, which means that the account has been verified and there's no need for the verification anymore. We run that, we execute that query before setting for sessions. We set a UID session with the account ID and we set an email with the email uh, the account's email address that we pulled from the database followed by the salt uh, a session of salt and the password and then we echo out pass to indicate that we've that the uh, user successfully logged in if the passwords do not match we echo out just saying email and password combination is incorrect try again now I'll just go back to these sessions the reason I'm setting four sessions is that we will be checking uh, against our account we'll be running a query in the actual game we'll be running a query um, selecting an ID where the set, uh, the account ID equals the user the session UID the session the account email equal equals the session's email the salt equals the salt and the password equals the password it's just for a raised secu security really okay so that's the um, code explained before we wrap up this video I will demonstrate on how it works I'll find the right page so we click the login currently there's no email or password required uh, inserted so I'll insert my password and the verification pin appears I will enter an incorrect verification pin along with my password or a password which isn't correct and when I click login we get the pop-up saying the verification pin is incorrect so I will correct the verification pin and now we'll, we will receive a um, pop-up saying that the email and password combination is incorrect see now there's one th more, more thing I think I've forgotten to do is if the email doesn't appear in the database oh, well done. oh no that is correct that's fine okay so I've got to re-enter the verification pin the password is correct, the email is correct, the verification pin is correct. So we log in and it just comes up pass. We can close that. And now when I, if I refresh and we go to log in, we enter the email address and as you can see there's no verification pin required because our verification pin has been um, made to zero. and 
it just jumps straight to checking against the um, email and password. So that's our verification form and our login form and scripts completed. We will now be going into character creation in the next set of videos. So join me then.